It's just dripping down. This whole winter, this whole January feels like one big Chinook so far. It's hardly freezing at night and then it's plus degrees all day long. Everything is melting. The camera doesn't pick that up, but the microphone does. And there was no sunshine, not any uh, blue sky at all in like so long. It's cloud covered and cloud covered. And from what I understand, you can arrange for a fairly decent cloud cover with spraying chemicals, especially heavy metals as barium, um, strontium and uh, aluminum which is not a heavy metal however it's highly poisonous and toxic and with a little bit of acidity in the soil this actually becomes bioavailable which then moves into fat and brain tissues in mammals which leads to serious brain malfunction and organ malfunction of course because it all ends up in the excretory organs such as kidneys and livers obviously so now the latest that I heard because we always hear that geoengineering and uh, the spraying of uh, cloud cover is used to cool the planet but lately I've heard the opposite in the long run to cover the earth with these aerosols that is the atmosphere which of course will be washed down on the earth and our biosphere which comprises the atmosphere parts of the atmosphere anyway and that would actually make sense that this warms the planet up because that's where the money wants to go right we want to get access to all this Arctic and Antarctic area. This is where we want to mine. This is where we want to find oil and all of these things, right? And you can also only get there if the ice melts and it never melted in the summer. And a few years ago, we've witnessed the first summer where all the Arctic was sea accessible. This still poses enormous challenges because it's only ice free for a very short time of the year but apparently we're full-fledged enhancing that right now and i just want to see the sun where is it show me the sun somebody because i can't see it <laughs> 